hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing another love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius and you're on your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you to all the people that have been subscribing to my youtube channel i really appreciate you guys so much okay so today the prayer says father teach me to be humble so great is your majesty that i became instantly familiar with my own humanity i trust you and desire you will fall more than i trust myself or care to live for my happiness only i want your external riches far more than i desire things of this world in jesus name amen so let's see what's going on for aquarius spirit guides of a light and senses and masters and the light Please protect the deck from any negative energies. So, Aquarius, do y'all have your birthday planned already? Like, what you want to do? Because I'm still figuring mine out because I'm about to be 21. So, that's like a big number for me. Okay. So, I don't know what I want to do yet. Like, there's so much stuff to do that I don't know what to do. And then it's going to be snowing on my birthday. So, I don't know. But, let's see. Spirit guides, I love light. What's going on for Aquarius and love my collective? The higher set. So you could be connected to a Taurus. Okay, this person could have Taurus in their chart or Earth in their chart heavy. What else? We have here the Two of Swords. Okay, so I'm already seeing here that somebody here has some type of traditions and beliefs about love and they stick to what they seen growing up and what they seen growing up could have been the best regarding how they did with relationships like they could have seen their mother like sitting in a relationship where it was toxic or their father going out cheating you know on their mother however the situation went it's like they hold that close to their heart okay it's something that this person hasn't healed from but i'm seeing here with the higher friend it's like that's what keeps them at a stalemate not knowing what's good for them or just thinking that what's not good for them is okay it's normal like you know and it's not with the two of swords here okay <clears throat> i'm also seeing here that this person knows better but it's like they try to either use an excuse on what they see or they try to use an excuse so they won't get hurt that they was to be in a committed relationship faithful to one person okay and we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person likes attention. They like to be flirted with by other people. Okay, they like flirting with other people with the Nine of Cups here. It's like too many car spirits. It's like this person is like in and out. Okay, it's like they tell you stuff that you want to hear, show you affection, probably buy you something, you know, to make your heart warm. And then they go and do that to somebody else. So everybody I'm seeing here is getting the same treatment that this person is dealing with. Okay, this person could be in some type of relationship with the Hierophant card where they could have known somebody for a long time and they feel like because they have history with that person that they pose to um, stay with them or because they have built some type of family dynamic to the public that they pose to stay with that person or they have people in their family telling them to like keep the family together like, you know, you can't leave that person. Giving this person advice that they don't need, Okay. And we have the king of pentacles here yeah this person i'm seeing here this person can like work 24 7 okay or they could just be about their money or they could be materialistic here but the king of pentacles here it's like this person has been loyal to one situation already they this person could be married okay but with the four swords here i'm seeing here it's like this person never have time to rest this person could be mentally exhausted from working 24 7 trying to provide for the family and provide for these other people that they deal with okay the king of pentacles but us for guys that's how this person could have met you you know even though they was in some type of situation with the hyphen i don't feel like they was happy in okay they just stayed there because they either felt obligated to stay there or they just person just didn't want to see the situation for what it is because they could have had love for who they was dealing with okay but i'm saying here it could have been like love hate relationship like you know they argue then they make up sex or somebody buys somebody something here to like get them to be quiet okay or bribe somebody with money we have the five of wands here so let's see, clarify the four swords. 
I'm seeing here, Aquarius, you have healed from that situation. You have been resting, okay? It's like you don't want to be bothered with this person. I'm really getting like a, like you just tired of thinking about the situation. You tired of it popping up in your head. Clarify the four swords. But I see like you being in your head about it. Like it's like you feel like it, it just can't go. Some guys probably need to do some core cutting. If you feel like this is irritating you and you're tired of thinking about this, you just like, oh, like, why do I keep thinking about this person, this situation? Okay, what they did to me, you need to do some core cutting. Okay. And we have the nine of wands in reverse to clarify the four swords. Yeah, I really feel like you gave up hope on the situation with the nine of wands in reverse. Like, you're just like, I'm not fighting for this anymore. Like, yeah, this person has a hard head. It's like they don't listen to nobody but themselves. They don't know how to take advice. And it's like they rather take wrong advice, which is crazy to me. That's why I feel like this person plays on your intelligence. Okay? It's like they either don't want to do the work or they just they just comfortable staying how he is. Okay? This person is afraid of change. Okay? And we have the sun card. Yeah, because with the sun card, I feel like you have to come in line about the situation. Like, it's no reason to to um, fight for this or wait on this person or keep making yourself mentally exhausted from the situation. Okay, it's like you could think about it a lot when you're just laying down by yourself in your solitude, relaxing, and you hate that. You'd be like, I don't know, I want to think about this. But, yeah, I'm seeing here you learned something as well. Like, you became enlightened. You could have been meditating in the sun. Like, somebody here could get, like, some type of message. Because you were just sitting in the sun. That can happen. Okay. Because it happened to me before. Um, you get like some type of clarity here. Through the sun. Just sitting in the sun. Meditating through the sun. You could just be meditating in grass or something. Or in your home. And you got some type of clarity here. That you needed to put yourself first. You needed to. You know. Hear from the situation. Take some time out to rest. Some of you guys could be taking some time out from work. And we have the five of wands here. Yeah. You just realized it was too much competition. It was too much drama. This person needs to remove people from their life that just so like negative miserable bitter people literally okay that you know don't want to see the next person happy it's like a continuous cycle here and we have the eight of wands yeah you moved away from that you guys haven't been in talking you've been in separation with this person and i'm seeing here while this person literally it's like they when they think about you they think very peaceful like they think good thoughts about you you know but it's like when they look around in their environment and just be like what the hell how did i attract these people you know with the five of wands here and we have the strength card yeah so i'm still realizing here that this person is realizing that it's going to take them a lot of strength here to remove these people out of their life to get away from these people okay it's a lot of people that are trying to stop this person from moving on and being happy okay trying to hold this person down trying to have strength over the, this person literally it's people that are so ambitious to see this person stay stuck okay and this person could have thought that these was good friends and family or whoever it could be it could be a, a, a karmic here karmics okay thought that these was good people but this person was blinded they was confused they didn't know what was going on now this person wants to come in towards you, okay? But they know that they can come in towards you the wrong way. It's going to take them a lot of strength to even reach out to you because I'm seeing here that this person has a big-ass ego. And we have the two of wands here. Yeah, this person is thinking. They're thinking about the future. They're uncertain on which path to take because they know that it's going to, if they remove themselves from all this right here, this drama, all this chaotic shit, they, they're going to have to do some work. They're going to put in some work from for the, themselves. Not just to get back with you. But, you know, they need to do some healing. They need to look at everything that they have been programmed to think is okay. Regarding relationships, themselves, outdated thinking, all that. We have the magician. So, let's see. Hopefully, this person not trying to manipulate the situation. With the magician here. And try to see that, you know, if they could come up with something to how they cake and eat it too but let's clarify the magician clarify the magician spirit guides seven of pentacles hmm. seven of pentacles a little fortune okay so this person is thinking like they they want they want to invest in this connection with you okay they really want to put in the time the effort 
okay so this person has made a decision okay but they're just thinking about how can they come in towards you like they're trying to figure out some type of plan okay because it's like they know this person has went within with the hermit said some time out reflected really searched for answers on what's going on in their life and this connection with you guys and it's like they know that this is a blessing okay that this is not going to happen again it's gonna this this type of stuff happen every blue moon. Everybody don't have a twin flame or a strong soulmate connection, you know. They don't. Okay. So this person is realizing that this is something special. Okay. Eight of Cups. So this person could be walking away from things that don't want to disturb them anymore. Okay. With the Eight of Cups. This person is, is going on their own path. We have the High Priestess in Reverse. Hmm. So let's see. Clarify the High Priestess in Reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so it's... Oh, God. It's a karmic here doing some spiritual work. With the High Priestess in Reverse, it means she's abusing her spiritual gifts. If she even have any. I feel like you're the gifted one. Okay. This hoe is mad. The Queen of Pentacles here. Okay. She could be very materialistic as well. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. They're karmic soulmates. Okay. She could be doing some type of spell work. Because this person has left her. And she's trying to get this person to come back. She could be spending her money. On whoever does this spiritual work for her. She This, this type of feminine energy doesn't follow her intuition. Okay, she thinks she's right about everything. Mm hmm And the sun. So let's see, clarify the sun. The ace of swords. Yeah, so she knows about this connection as well, that this is this person happiness. Okay, she has become enlightened about the situation. Okay, yeah, she got clarity and truth. Okay, that this person... And you are meant to be together, okay? That you make this person happy. She got some type of clarity. I don't know who gave it to her. He probably, this person probably spoke their mind. The world card, yeah, now it's over. It's the world card is over. This is completion. Okay, she needs to find her happiness and move on. But she's trying to stop it by doing some, some magic. And they be killing me. It really kills me. How y'all be in the comments talking about, oh, they can't do the magic, not going to work. People really li literally does this shit. And you would never know that they're doing it. Like, it's crazy. You know how a serial killer, you don't be, you, you would think of somebody that look a certain way, not doing something, but they doing it. Like Jeffrey Dahmer, for example. Serial killer. He got away with that shit for, they said, more than a decade. Like, come on now. You don't know what be behind that mask people wear. People could do stuff that you would never know about. They can hide it, all types of shit. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, this karma here is trying to make this person come back in towards her. Okay, because this person always, she she's trying to figure out this person's weak points, so and she knows that this person has a sex addiction. So she wants this person to still have sex with her. Knight of Wands here. Okay, she doesn't mind because she don't have self respect for herself. You do. That's the difference. Okay, she's trying to lure this person in sexually. Does she know this person, you know? Yeah, that's something that she could have did in the past to keep this person, like have sex with them so everything could be all right, use her vagina. Okay, we have the emperor and the devil. That's what he could, this masculine could have tried to do to you, but you didn't fall for it. You probably did, but you stopped doing that. You set boundaries with this person. But that's her type of way to control the situation with the emperor and the devil. She's really trying to control the situation by trying to seduce this person sexually. With the devil, she's toxic, codependent on him. Literally. It's like this person got somebody just like them. Somebody that likes to be in control, likes attention, has a sex addiction, probably have drug addictions, codependent. Okay, two of cups to stay in this connection. She wants this person to stay with her. Two of cups here. Clarify the devil. She's most definitely doing some dark magic here for sure. Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil, spirit guides. 
Three of Pentacles. Yeah, she don't. She wants this person to, to stay with her. She don't care if this person cheats and do all this other stuff. They could. They could be making money together as well. And she could be trying to like use the business as a way to keep. Yeah, see, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Look at these cards. Like, come on now. Like, come on now. Like, this is crazy. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here. So she wants this person to stay in some type of business with her. Ten of Pentacles to keep providing for the family. Because look, then the, the Queen of Pentacles popped out to clarify the High Priestess in reverse. So that's basically telling me she just wants the money. She's materialistic. We have Pentacle, Pentacle. There ain't no cups here at all. Somebody here is addicted to money. This person could have grew up not having a lot. So could this masculine. It could be probably mindset. And she feel like this is this person's job to, to help her, you know. She actually see this person as a, a dollar sign. If you really want to be honest. We have Eight of Swords. Yeah, she wants this person to stay feeling trapped, restricted, helpless in this connection. Feeling in prison with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. She think that's love. What else? Ace of Pentacles. She, she don't want this person to go towards this new beginning. She want that. She want that new car, that new home. She want that new purse, the new shoes, all that. She wants this person to buy her stuff. Keep buying her stuff. Okay? This person could be very good at giving gifts. Okay? Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Some of them are trying to get this person to get them pregnant again. Well, I'm seeing here, some of them could be trying to like move somewhere far so they can just have this person to themselves. They feel like if they move somewhere far, go towards somewhere like a new beginning to get a new home, that you guys won't be like talking as much and the connection will like, you know, fade away through time. But we have Six of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the Seven of Wands to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, she wants this person to keep overgiving to her, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and if she don't get her way, she's going to be very defensive. She's going to get angry, upset. Nothing will go her way. Or she's going to try to fight you. With the, yeah, because she don't want this person to give equally to you. She wants everything, and she feels like she just, she's supposed to get everything. She's deserving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but this person is returning to you the six of cups. Like it's it's faded, it's it's destined. So just because this person is trying to put on like a battle and be in competition with you over a guy, you don't have to do that. Keep focusing on yourself. Everything's gonna happen in divine timing. Let her or him have it. Okay. But this person misses you a lot. You see the six of cups for y'all. Y'all have cups because it's, it's genuine love. You don't need this person for money. Okay. See, speaking of you don't need nobody for money. We have nine of pentacles here, boo-boo. You're single. You're independent. Okay. You got that. You got that. Okay. Period. I love these cards. I love tarot. Like, come on now. And that's on period. Six of Pentacles. And you, you're not worrying about what she's worrying about. And I know that for sure. Okay? Six of Pentacles. You, and I'm also saying here, you have such a good heart that you could be helping other people. The Six of Pentacles here. Like, you have so much, you know, to give back. Ace of Swords. And that's the truth. Okay? Clarify the Ace of Swords. This person wants to give equal to you. This person wants to come and buy you a gift. A nice ass gift. Okay. Not that you care about it. But you know. Because you can do it for yourself. Never forget that. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Four of Cups and Illumination. To clarify the Ace of Swords. Yeah. And I'm seeing here. It's like she know the truth. And it's like she feels like a wounded warrior, but it's like she's still trying to put up put up on a fight. Yeah, because she don't want to be left with no no money. Five of Pentacles, she have a fear of not having enough money. She has a fear of abandonment as well. And with the four of cups here, she's getting rejected by this person. 
and she's starting to realize that she can't stop it like she could probably be trying to buy this person gifts and stuff like this is crazy people are real life crazy not a pentacles but this person is coming to commit to you period and she's going to be watching this you guys happy nine of cups and love like and if this hasn't happened yet it's going to happen so if they, they they probably the karmas probably feel like they winning now because of course they put in a lot of effort you don't have to do all that and the masculine has to see the truth as well okay like i said you could change the genders you could switch the roles okay but let's see give me some advice for my aquarius spirit guide of the light and to the masters for whoever's resonating with this reading Like, that takes a lot of energy. I know they're tired. It's time to release negativity. Full moon is Scorpio. Release any negativity. This person could be trying to throw negative spells your way, okay? Make sure you're taking a spiritual bath, okay? Walking out in nature, drinking your water, eating healthy. Because that's this karmic. She's negative, so she's trying to make you feel that way that she feels. Yeah, make sure you always remember to look at the bigger picture. And look, did I say that? She's trying to make throw negative energy your way. Meditate and contemplate. Sit in meditation, okay? You guys know. You're going to know, okay? And look at the bigger picture. Try to look at the bigger picture, okay? Don't, don't allow what this person is doing, like the, you know, the little type of shit they're doing to try to keep somebody stuck. Don't, don't focus on that. Look at the bigger picture. Is this person healed? Does she have such respect? You know, she needs to heal. Look at the bigger picture. So it ain't even no reason to even have hate or negativity towards this person. Let them have it. Okay? Let them have it. So, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!